Hi Scorpio, this is Kelly from Goddess Power Tarot, formerly Moon Pie Tarot. So this is going to be your love reading for February 2019. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate, so they don't, you know, don't try to fit it. I'm going to kind of give like four block messages. Um, so they may tie in together or they may just be separate from one another. Whatever uh, resonates for you, take that. If you need more clarification or something does resonate, there is a link in the description box below to get a personal reading from me. So I'm going to start by using the Rider weight deck. I will clarify with the mini Rider weight. I also have an Oracle deck. It's called the Untamed Truth. And I will be pulling cards from there and also pulling cards from the Romance Angels Oracle deck, okay? So let's get started with your reading. What are the messages for Scorpio 2019? Scorpio love messages. Scorpio 2019. Starting with the Ace of Wands, sorry for the blur, it will clear, and the Eight of Wands. So, okay, Cupid's Arrows, lots of communication, messages, um, possible travel, messages about travel, or about connecting. The Ace of Wands is always my... <laughs> This is well. This is a card of um, new beginnings in pat in a passionate uh, creative development, passionate situations, male virility, um, sex, of course. Um, of course, when you look at this card, it, it's very phallic. So something's happening here. This Eight of Wands. There can be messages coming to you. Valentine's messages coming to you or you sending them out to someone else about connecting um, in a physical sense. So let's pull some clarifying cards. One for the Ace of Wands. Spirit, please show me a message, clarification message for the Ace of Wands. Okay. We have the Six of Pentacles here. So there's an energy of reciprocity giving. Um, pull a card for the Eight of Wands. Queen of Cups, so this is you, okay? Um, messages definitely coming to you, male or female, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, or messages going out to another water sign. Now, if it's not a water sign, um, of course the Queen of Cups does represent that, but it could also be someone, um, if it's a male who's more in their feminine divine feminine energy um, can also be someone who's a bit more beta than alpha more reserved quiet this could be you uh, I'm describing you or somebody else they could have water in their chart somewhere but this person is very focused on love th that one big cup okay um, very spiritual quiet a quiet type of a person and I'm seeing generosity here, okay? So some of you could be, um, have someone who wants to um, connect with you, buy you, a, buy you some gifts or spend a little bit of money on you. Um, not that they view you in like a position of need or poverty, um, but they, uh, someone who has a lot to offer you and does want to have some type of a connection with you perhaps a physical connection with you in February. So expect to receive something, a very generous offering in February, perhaps around Valentine's Day. Could be some message, a message or a few messages coming in. Perhaps um, offering to take someone on a date or um, nothing like, it, it's just generous. It's, it's authentic, it's sincere. Okay, for some of you, this could be someone with um, a Libran energy as well, because we have the scales here. All right, let's see. 
more messages for Scorpio. Oh yeah, the Knight of Cups. There's a proposal of some sort coming. Oh, the Ten of Cups. Somebody wants a commitment or wants to have a family or marriage. Okay, you could be doing this to some with someone, offering this to someone, or um, this is happening to you. There's a lot of cup energy here. Okay, there could be um, someone coming to see you or visiting you. It can be about travel or someone connecting with you, offering their cup. Somebody wants a relationship or a family. Um, this also could be you offering that. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups. Nine of Cups. This is a wish come true situation. Something that somebody has always wanted, you or another person. If you have a wish or something that you've been wishing for for quite some time, when it comes to a love situation, family, friend, whichever it may be, uh, make that wish right now. Because I, I feel if you set your intentions right now, make that wish while you're listening. This will be occurring for you in February. We've got the Knight of Cups again. Yes, lots of love happening here. Proposals, proposal of marriage, engagement, commitment. Um, this may be related to this or it could be separate. So it really, you know, however you want to play it out. However you, you know, if you're connecting to this and this is also connecting to you, then this energy is happening all together. Or this could be two separate situations here. You could have somebody chasing out somebody that your interest or I'm sorry, someone who is showing interest in you and you showing interest in either them or another person, whatever your wish may be. Um, your ultimate wish coming here. Okay, this feels a little more uh, lighter. So this could just be connecting with someone or, you know, for some of you hooking up with someone because the Ace of Wands, it has that energy of, um, you know, maybe hooking up for sex or something like that or just being generous or having a date. I don't feel like it's crazy serious. This feels more like the real deal over here. So let's pull some more messages for Scorpio. Oh. Now, I know, fell in reverse. Somebody asked me why I, I didn't take it reverse. I don't, I don't do reversals. Sometimes I will do them in personal readings, but I don't like to do them. And um, it's not that I don't like to. I just don't see the point. All right, so we have the death card. That's definitely your energy, Scorpio. Um, you're showing up in your own reading, and there is transformation happening in your life. Major, major transformation. Knight of Pentacles. Again, some type of, um, we've got two knights here. This is movement and love. Okay. This here, is this kind of static, you know, it's like being on the horse and, but it's more or less like making an offer, but it's not like super serious, you know, or it's just like very delayed. It's like, okay, make the offer, but uh, e either you or another person makes the offer, but it's not like pursuing it really. It's just kind of holding it up and saying, well, it's here if you want it, right? But this transformation, there is something happening here. So let's clarify the death card and see what's going on with that. I feel like your reading is going to go kind of quick because it's just so obvious. Death card, please trans uh, clarify the death card for me. Spirit, clarify the death card. Mm. You're trying, um, so you or another person, I feel this is you because it's sitting on your card. You're releasing yourself from some type of um, situation where you have felt trapped for a long time. Okay. 
bit of insecurity, low self-esteem, or something affecting you mentally. Okay, some of you are um, getting out of something, whatever it could be, graduating from something, being released from something. In, it could be in the physical sense, in the mental sense, something that had you feeling trapped. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles, please. The King of Pentacles. Okay. Um, some type of a connection with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Transitioning and making perhaps an, uh, there's an offer coming from an earth sign or you making that. This person, whoever it could be, is, um, you know, male or female, more in, um, you know, they're more in their um, divine masculine energy, but this person's not really overly emotional. They're, they're quite focused on work right now, okay? Or they're focused on their money or their bank account. They're focused on business, focused on security. We do have um, the bull up here, so this definitely could be Taurus for some of you. Um, could be an offer coming from that person that helps release you from this mental trap that you may feel that you are in. Okay, again, this can be separate from all of these other messages or it's connected. I just had such a major deja vu. Crazy. It's almost as if this message, I feel like this message was given to you before. You've, you've already received this message or I've already given this. This is something that you, you're aware of or that you know strange so let's move on to an, another set and see we've got the high priestess this can be the virgo card um it's a two so there this is about partnership okay these may all be connected to um this person whether it's you or someone else there's an all-knowing quality about this person they're they're secretive they're quiet um they keep things to themselves they're not showy not show offy. Um, they have the moon here, so they are deeply emotional. Um, this person may practice tarot because of the uh, Torah. Um, and as I said in one of my other readings, the BJ <laughs> can be symbolic of, you know, a sexual act as well. Um, this person might be connected to that in some way or to you, and that's something that you like to do. Um, the pomegranates do represent, um, you know, the life, okay? This person holds a key to unknown energies and doesn't really talk too much about it, kind of keeps it to themselves um, because there is an energy of either you or, the, or another person where it, there's a sense like, oh, okay, well, if, if, I, if I tell these secrets, people are going to think I'm crazy. <laughs> Something like that. So strange. Let's see what else we have here. Okay. Page of Pentacles. So the, there is this energy where I do feel like it, the connection with this person, they place high value on you. Definitely. They see you as someone who's um, quite valuable. But... Um, And, and they really don't see anything else but your value. Um, there may be messages with this, with a particular person where they express this to you to some degree of how important you are or how much you mean to them. But they're, you know, it's very light messaging. It's not overdone or anything like that. And if it's coming from this high priestess. I, I don't think it's the way that they are. Um, I don't think that they are really like that. They're a bit subdued in their communication. So let's clarify the high priestess of oh, page one so yeah there is there is a crush happening here someone has a crush <laughs> it can be an earth sign someone younger than you um 
it could be fire as well um, but there's um, fiery passion and this there is an energy here where <laughs> I know I try not to go down the sexual sexual road here but I, I do have Scorpio rising and I can't help myself and so and this person is definitely focused on phallus growth <laughs> phallic growth <laughs> as it you know hey, okay so I went there whatever um so there can be like um, a crush or a sexual connection here this person feels towards you so let's see oops let's see what other message we have for the page of pentacles uh, so they might um definitely express to you through messages how much they value you but secretly they have like a um, sexual crush on you as well um clarify the page of pentacles please <laughs> oh my goodness yes <laughs> it's so very much happening the knight of wands this is a lusty card why is it scorpio that your readings always come out with sex involved i think tarot by tess can attest to this when when she does her scorpio reading she'll say the same thing and it wouldn't be surprising to me if she's watching this right now hi tess so um the knight of wands yes um i feel like this person definitely wants to connect in a very sexual way with you sometime in february of course sometime this these messages are not too too deep they're light they're cute um if if it's if this is connecting to you or there's two different people here um you may have a choice to make in February about a, a, a relationship or getting making something go further or connecting with someone um, you may be connect you may be dating and connecting with one other person but it's light it's not this person is cool you know but they're not really doing it a hundred percent for you that it's not as deep as perhaps a connection with someone else and uh, you may be kind of like hmm, mulling things over. I'm going to pull some cards from the Untamed Truth deck. Oracle messages for you to see what's going on here. Oh, cycles. Okay, you're definitely cycling through something. This can represent the world card as well. Going through changes, and as the death card was here, there's some type of transformation happening. Different, uh, you're going through some type of phase or phases, phasing through, transitioning through some things. Balance, you're trying to seek balance. You need to seek balance. And balance is weighing things weighing some options trying to figure out where you want to really be or if you want if you want to be somewhere or if you don't want to be somewhere um, or if you need to just stay in the middle of something or just not do anything at all um, but i feel that uh, you may be receiving some messages uh, some type of proposal definitely about um, getting into a deeper relationship or a deeper commitment with someone so let me pull some cards from the romance angels deck oh these both fell out same time oh this could be the one and attraction and then this just fell out the sun it's a yes whatever your question if you have if you're trying to make a decision about someone in particular the answer is yes this is the one okay there is an attraction and you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully okay you've already met the romantic partner that you seek so if you're questioning who is this person well this is someone you've already met someone you already know okay um, so, so there could be something around Valentine's Day where there's an instigation of something happening here I can't believe your reading is only 18 minutes 19 minutes this went so quick it just was so clear um, so I'm just gonna leave it there I think it's sweet um, 
again, it may tie in all together or it may be four separate messages or maybe only two things are tying in. You'll have to decide. You can leave me comments below. And once more, if you need more clarity, click the link in the description box below and we'll um, set you up for a reading. All right. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day and I will see you guys in March. Take care.